Hey guys, this is Ryguy Gaming here today, back with another Roblox scripting tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at planetational gravity, and also how you can affect changes on only one client at a time, so that it is only affected to one player and not all players. So as you can see here, I have two planets, more or less. <laughs> I have one of me over here and one of me over here, so over here when I jump, I jump normally. You can see that the gravity is static, but when I have my player over there jump, you can see that he jumps much higher because his planet has a lot lower gravity. He isn't constrained by the same gravity force that we are, so he can jump in a lot higher and fall a little slower. And so let's go ahead and hop in the studio and I'll show you guys how this can be accomplished. Alrighty, so here we are back in the studio and I don't have anything too fancy here. All I have are these teleporters. You can watch a previous video of mine to see how to make teleporters. And that's not what the tutorial for. Really the secret here is in the planets. Each of them have a script. So these are just like the base parts for the planet and I can go inside of them and have a script. So probably what you'll want to do is if you make different planets, you'll want to have at least some kind of part that the player will land on and touch that changes their gravity. Even if it's just invisible or something like that, you want something to be able to touch to say, hey, the player's on a new planet, let's change their gravity. And then you'll also need a script inside of the player. You'll need a local script. And inside of replicated storage, you will need a remote event. You can name it whatever you want, but you'll have to change the script. So if you want to copy exactly like me, just name it gravity. And this is a remote event. So you'll just click on this thing, type in remote event and insert one of these, rename it to gravity. And I pushed the wrong button. I pushed N instead of delete. <laughs> and then, like I said, you'll just want a local script in here and a script inside of the base of the planet. So first we are going to go ahead and look at the script inside of the planet because it's probably the simplest. And to be honest, I could have organized this script a little better so it was a little more legible, but basically all you need to change is up top here. Actually, I should say local so that we know this is a variable so basically all you're going to change is the value of this variable this variable is what we set to gravity to to see the default gravity just go into workspace and it's right here if you see down here in the properties you can see this default gravity value so this is what normal gravity is and then you can change it as you see fit here so basically all we're doing is setting up a touched event as you can see here, so we say script.parent.touched connect, um, and then we grab the part that touched our base of our planet, and then we check to make sure that the part is a member of a model, and that the model is indeed a player, so we're checked to see if it has a humanoid. If that's the case, we check to, um, we get the player from using the player's service, so we say game, get service players, find first child, part.parent.name, which references the name of the player's model. Next, all we do is get the replicated storage, find the gravity event, and then we just fire to the client um, using the player's name and we pass in the gravity value that we have set up here. So in this case, it will be 60. So now that we know how this works, let's go ahead and look at the receiving end. So this is the local script and the starter player script. And all this one does is it just looks into the replicated storage, finds the gravity, and waits for there to be a client event. And then it takes the gravity value as a parameter. So here we're calling it new grav, or like new gravity. And then it just sets game.workspace.gravity to new grav, and that's it. So the way this works the way it does is because we are setting the gravity in a local script on the client so local scripts run locally which means they only run for one player on their screen um, you can go watch my filtering enabled tutorial to learn the difference between the clients and the server but basically a client is one player and the server is like the entire game so 
Since we're only running this script on a client, that means that the gravity will only be changed for that one player. Now, something to keep in mind, that since we're changing the gravity in workspace, that the entire gravity of their world will be affected. So if you have other things that are affected by gravity, like say you have parts falling somewhere else, or maybe there's like a whirlwind on... Actually, I don't know if the windmill gets affected by it, but I didn't look, but... Anything that gets affected by gravity, even if it's on a different planet, it will have the same gravity depending on which planet the player's on since workspace is a you know it encompasses the whole world and so that's just one way you can do planetary gravity of course you can do different places for each planet and then just set the gravity for each place and then just have like your universe teleport you to each new place each time you go to a planet which would be pretty cool you can make like a better version of no man's sky but we're not going to get into that in this video. This video was just to show you how to use client-sided scripts to make changes on only one player so that the other players can still function normally. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll be sure to leave these scripts in the description and a paste bin link. I'll also have down there the link to my Discord so you can come and chat with us, ask for, su or ask for tutorial suggestions, ask for help with this script or other videos of mine just come and hang out whatever you want post some dank memes whatever is good for you also please don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials and that's gonna do it for today so thanks for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video goodbye